Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just finished part two of my organization and trying to put my makeup, rearrange the drawers. I already did in the third, second part, I already did my lipsticks, my um, lip glosses and all that. And then I put all the stuff that I was going to put in the drawer that I'm currently, when I do my makeup, I sit on the floor. So I like to make sure I can grab and go, like, if I'm sitting on the floor, like, oh, I crap, I forgot a primer or a contour or whatever, I can grab it. Like, it's easy access for me. So, yeah, I will um, show you what I got. I got quite a few bits and bobs left to put in this drawer. So I'm hoping it will fit. If my mists don't fit, I'll put them up here because I have a lot of other space. And I'm also putting my Extreme Frosts up there. Um, so, oh, this has to go on my thing, but this is the Supreme Gloss from Jeffree Star in Wifey. I love this. It's a good red lip. I was going to use this as a blush because when I was out house sitting for my brother-in-law, I forgot that I didn't have a blush. So I was just going to use this, but I was like, I don't want it really tacky. So I did not use it, but that will go with my other Jeffree Star stuff that's up in this drawer. Um, and then, like I said, these three go on my makeup stand. Like I said, this one and Unicorn Blood are my two favorite liquid lips. And then all of the nude ones that he's made. And then I have Lord Star in the gloss. So those will go on my vanity. So I'm going to reach over here, put those there. But we will get in back into the drawer of what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah. Just pan you back this way. Drop you back down. Like I said, I have everything set up. So I have like bronzers, foundations, primers. I have eyelashes and brows. I have mascara. I have setting sprays and I setting powders and I have um, highlighters. Setting sprays are right here. Um, I put them with the palettes because I use those afterwards, but I can still reach this drawer if I have to. So, let's get back into this. So we have eyeliners, eyeliners. We have a lot of eyeliners. Um, like, like, excessive amount of eyeliners. Like, this is all my eyeliners. I have to go through those eventually. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put those. Probably I'll put them here until I get a, um... What do they call it? A bus, a bucket like this from the dollar store. Um, color correctors, eye primers. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. So, if you want the really good contouring palette, this one, I recommend it. It's amazing. I love it. It's from KVD Beauty. Um, so we're going to put color correctors and, um, concealers in that bin. We'll slide that across. And I got this. This is the Boing Cakeless Concealer from Benefits. It's really tiny. Like, I can show you guys how tiny this thing is. Like, I was like, oh, it's going to be a deluxe, you know, deluxe sample size, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll get my use out of it. I don't want to rip the box, but I'm going to. I'm going to take it out of the box. This is how tiny it is. Like, one or two uses, and then I'm good. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, ridiculous. And this is in the shade... I don't even know what shade this is. Fair Warm. Best Life. This is the Best Life. This is the one of the fairest concealers you'll have. So I'll put that down there. I have... Cream contour, I like using that from Wet Wild, and then I have a backup of it. So we got all that put away. I'm trying to think. I'm thinking I'm gonna put eyeshadow primers up top in this drawer. So I'll put this eyeshadow primer away. Got it from the M2U NYC brand from my Ipsy bag. So yeah, that's an eye primer. I usually use those when I use my Jeffree Star makeup. We have a highlighter palette, one of my favorites. Boom. I got it from Five Below. It, I bought it with my gift card. I love that highlighting palette. I think I'm going to put 
the s'mores um highlighter and contour palette since my contour is in here already but i'm going to put it with my um, other highlighter palette so there's that we got blushes oh my God. blushes i don't know where we're gonna put these we're running out of room in this drawer we might have to move these all over here i'll put the blushes here we'll take this blush palette and we'll put it down here because i don't think the drawer will close so i'll put it behind it that's one of, i asked about that it was a zueva palette it's sweet glamour glamour i think that's what it's called glamour i bought that at t at tj maxx for five dollars so like i said they have good makeup let's slide this contour palette over blush palette there oh another good blush palette is from manny mua i have I don't have it anymore. I have completely used it up. I used every single shade except one. One broke. Um, I love that blush palette. It's called the Moon Prism Blush Palette. Not the nude one, but the other one. The first one, not the new one that he made. He is a great YouTuber on here. Like, I love Manny Webway. I watch all of his videos. Try to, at least. Um, and my husband is hilarious because when I ha watch him, and he'll look over my shoulder and he'll be like, oh, you're watching Manny. It's really weird because he knows that, but that's because I watch him a lot. So just go check him out. It's Lunar Beauty. Go check him out. Great quality makeup. I love it. Um, I think we only have quite a few bits and bobs left. So we have some liquid highlighters. I think I might get rid of this one. This is from Hard Candy. Um, I don't think they make the Glow All The Way anymore highlighter fake. I found this at the Dollar Tree, which is really weird to see glow, hard candy at the dollar store. But it's in the shade Doll Face. It's great for a body illuminator. Like, I mix this in with other body illuminators. But it's great. But I don't know if they make this anymore. And I'm going to do a test swatch on my hand to see if I break out. Because I will slather myself in a body highlighter if I'm wearing, like, a sundress or something in the summer. So, yeah, I'm going to test it out of my hand to see if it's still good. And if it's not, I'm going to throw it out. Because I love this. Like, it gives you that pinky glow. Great. Then we have the Urban Decay Honey Scented Sparkling Powder. Mmm, it smells just like honey. It's a golden highlighter. You can see it on my hand. I don't know. Like the gold shift. I use this on my um, wedding day. I use this. I bought this at um, TG Maxx for, I think I said, I think it was $10. Um, but I love the honey line. I love the honey palette, which I don't have, which I want to get. And then I have, the, I like the cherry palette. And I like the cherry scented sparkling body powder, but I couldn't find that one at TJ Maxx. So if anybody knows where I can find the cherry one, let me know down in the comments because I love that one too. So, but I like the packaging because it's got a little bee on it. It's got like, it's got to be there and it says honey. This is like one of my favorite Urban Decay powders for the summer as well. I'll slather myself in it and give me that sparkly glow when I wear a summer dress. So like for church and stuff, I'll put this on. But yeah, I have that. Then I have an about face from Halsey's brand, which I also got from a Nipsey bag. Um, but it's a pinky. So similar to the body, gl the glow all the way from her hard candy. It's more of a pinky color. I also use this. It's amazing. I put it sometimes and I'll fix it in my foundation to give me that pinky color. It is in uh, fight or flight. It, I will use this in my foundation for that pinky glow. So I love this. I got it from Ipsy as well. Like you can, like you can, like you see here, I'm very obsessed with highlighters and body highlighters. Like those are my go-tos. Here's another one I used. I used the honey one all over my um, top half and my arms for a wedding. 
And then I use this on my legs to give me that bronzy glow. Um, but yeah, this is from Becca. It's in, it's the Ignite Highlight Liquid Highlighter in the shade, I think it's Ignite. But you can't get this anymore. Becca doesn't exist anymore. They're disbanded their makeup brand as of last year. I'm really sad, but I got this at TJ Maxx for seven bucks. But I'm really sad because they make the best, like, liquid highlighter formulas of all time. Like, I can show you guys. Like, look at that. If you want a bronzy glow, that will give you that. And then this smells incredible. Like, I love this. And I will not use it on camera just because, again, you can't get it. It's discontinued. Like, it doesn't exist anymore. But... If Becca was still around, I would highly recommend getting this because this is one. They have other shades when they were around. They had other shades that were lighter than this. But I used this in the summer to give my legs like a glowy, bronzy look. So, yeah. I even use this if I self-tan too. So, yeah. But, yeah, there's the, you can see a little glimpse. It's really cool. But, yeah, I use that. I'm going to probably lay that down. Um, I think, oh. And here's my kabuki brush. I haven't even used it. I had to get a new one because, yeah, it, my other one was so gross. Like, we just moved into this apartment, so, for my old apartment. So, I had to get a brand new kabuki brush because this was, like, it was so bad. It was, the handle was tanned, everything. It was, it was glittered. Like, this is what I used when I wanted to put my glitter highlighter on my legs. So, I highly recommend. I used it for our wedding and then I ended up throwing it out and getting it into one. So there's that. And then here's another liquid highlighter that I love. It's in the shade. I can't really say it. It's it's blue. It, it, the other part is not a very appropriate name to say on camera, but you know, it's Jeffree Star. All of his names are inappropriate. But the shade name is on the bottom. And I don't think he makes these anymore, the liquid frosts. Can somebody just tell me that in the comments down below if he makes the liquid frost anymore? I don't know if he does. Because it's hard to find them. But it's a blue one and I love it. I use it sometimes on my face. Um, but yeah, I think that's all the makeup that I have put away, I believe. Besides like my mists and stuff, which I'll probably put up here because there's more room up there. But yeah, this is the drawer. I kind of like how it looks besides the pencils, which... I will get a smaller basket and I'll just put them somewhere on top of something. But yeah, I like the way it looks. Um, like I said, I have to keep this up because it will lake and I don't like that. So like I said, I have to keep that upright, but everything looks nice. Like I love my blushes and how they look and how this drawer turned out. So yeah, if you guys like these kind of videos, and unboxings and stuff please comment and like down below it's gonna be great for me um I'm trying to get this started I'm trying to upload more it's just been really hard to upload because I've had a lot of stuff go on and it's just been crazy and I know I've taken time off which I know you guys don't like when I take time off but I'm giving you guys that explanation of why I took time off um this past February well, last year and into January, um, my grandma, my mother's mother, ended up getting sick. And she chose to just not want to pursue anything to help um, keep her alive. And that was her choice. And we have to accept that choice. And this past February, she had passed away. Three months later, my grandma, my dad's mother, ends up getting sick. We find out that she might had we, we we think that she had stomach cancer for a while. We didn't know. And that's one of the diagnoses they gave us, but they couldn't really do anything because she was weak and she wanted to go home. And so a couple of weeks ago, I think it was April. Yeah, I think it was April. She also passed away. So three months my grandma passed away in February, and then three months later my other grandma passed away. So that is why I took time off. And I'm giving you this explanation because I feel like you guys deserve that. And I don't like going into details of my life, but I'm showing you my life. So that is the explanation of why I took break. 
and why I wanted to do this kind of video to show you guys my makeup collection and organize it and rearrange it. So if you guys like these videos, please comment down below. Bye guys.